welcome to HCS's presentation um, on calling services. I wanted to tell you a little bit uh, at first about who we are. What we are is a, 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 a retail consultancy for the graphic communication industry that uh, really does an excellent job of determining your DNA. Uh, we, we help you connect with your customers and help you grow your business. Um, a lot of people are, have a hard time identifying the core essence of their DNA and can usually use third-party assistance in doing that, and we think we're really good at doing it. So uh, what HS does is we help you to kind of grow your business in a direction that allows you to focus on uh, running your business while we work on your business. A little bit about who we are. We're the only retail consultant uh, for the graphic communication industry. We create influence in three service channels, and that's with retailers, graphic communication companies, and customer media product manufacturers. Um, we started in 2008, and we soon learned that just uh, offering advice didn't obtain the measurable change we were after. So uh, in that course of the last four to five years, we've really evolved. We've migrated to the HCS brand, which is more of an agency model. And what we do is we, we uh, function as the only retail consultant for the graphic communication industry. So what we believe in is the B2B journey has changed forever. And unfortunately, um, most owners and executives haven't identified this change as yet. We believe uh, solution selling leads to commoditization, and we're a big advocate of the challenger sale which is really focused more around um, expertise in, in a particular area. So uh, there's more information out there today than ever before online to go ahead and do data mining and prospecting in a new way. We also believe from the last survey that we took that every one of our clients, uh, regardless of what channel that we're from, are really interested in innovation and innovation is what secures appointments, gets their attention, and allows you to uh, deliver upon your promise to existing uh, customers and clients, and also uh, demonstrate your thought leadership. It differentiates your brand and allows you to accelerate your business development process. And the other part that we also believe in is marketing plays a bigger role in that P2P journey than ever before. So um, what we're going to be talking about today is going to be around calling services, but uh, at the end of the day, you know, every business we believe has its own unique DNA, and we think that HS is excellent at determining that. Uh, we started with our three service channels. They're broadening quickly, but um, we still hold true to our legacy beliefs on what we have expertise in. Um, one of the things that um, allows us to articulate that story is the tools we build and allows us to go ahead and uh, help you navigate that course of client engagement that builds to new customers that help you grow your business. So today we're here to talk about calling services. Now I love talking about calling services. We don't actually have a calling service inside our business, but we've been using them for some um, amount of time. Uh, we have a number of different calling services that we recommend. And um, based upon the campaigning and the lead generation that we do at HCS, what we find nine times out of 10 is it's more um, opportunities than many of our customers can put in place and track. And so calling services become an integral part of what can help you go ahead and announce your brand and also allow you to go ahead and start that sell-in process or that B2B process that allows you to educate your pot potential prospects to the value of your business. So let's dig into this a little bit. It's an exciting little area. So um, first, you know, cold calling's really evolved. And, you know, uh, what, what we find most often when we come in and we do an audit of most organizations is that the process of calling has really gone by the wayside. There's a lot of passive um, attempts to communicate, and usually that's through email. And email can easily be ignored. It, you need to have a more um, holistic approach to how you're going to reach out and introduce your business to multiple uh, clients. We believe calling services fit that goal. Um, when you integrate a calling service, you can add value to you know, your marketing outreach programs. And the other thing about uh, calling services, you can take as much or as little as what you need. By comparison, when you staff up, 
to make these calls, um, a lot of times you're challenged because your marketing campaign schedules and your follow-up schedules don't necessarily uh, need a full-time or a part-time person. You need uh, a lot of energy in a short period of window and that allows you to go ahead and take advantage of the opportunities that you've generated through marketing. So um, in this process, uh, calling services, when trained properly, help you get your brand awareness out to them and help you uh, demonstrate what you need. It's an excellent way to go ahead and um, utilize uh, additional manpower to go ahead and generate new opportunities to reach what I consider kind of the new client engagement process. So what are calling services? So basically calling services are um, a group of people that are integrated with some sort of uh, usually CRM and that they are calling for your for your benefit of your business, uh, acting as you, as a representative of your business, to go ahead and help uh, create that top line fill of funnel in the sales funnel. So um, calling services will go ahead and represent your brand. They also will have a, a access to all of your tools. So anything that you've used to go ahead and generate some of these um, opportunities that they're gonna be following up on, they can also help re-deliver your message. And what we like to use them for is uh, appointment setting. And what we think there happens the best there is not to go ahead and be represented as a subject matter expert or an industry expert, but as someone that's trying to connect interested parties with uh, people that are subject matter experts that can go, go ahead and help you grow your business. So, um, what we're recommending is a lot of times people hire to go ahead and reach out to their customers, and we're suggesting that you have to rethink that approach. You have to take a different approach. So um, in most cases, um, calling services are part of an online strategy. And um, the way we use them here at HCS is we, we start and we go through a process of discovery, which is really trying to identify and um, vocalize and visualize the individual brand's DNA to a point where people see themselves differently. Once we've been able to achieve that, what we try to do is we try to develop a campaign strategy based upon these educational platforms that we want to educate our clients to that differentiates our brand from others. And in that process, we go ahead and we start the active process of campaigning and tool development that allows us to go ahead and create lead gen. Um, most of this is usually handled through uh, email campaigning, and it functions as an extremely good way of generating lead opportunities that need to be followed up with. In most cases, um, we start this process in a firm using the existing sales staff, but what we usually find uh, based on um, steady monitoring of the follow-up process is this usually gets left behind. And so there's not a diligence to going through the list and or creating additional nurturing trails that would be necessary to go ahead and create more interest. So um, every company's got to go ahead and start to market their service. But what, uh, what happens is traditionally they, they start online, but they, they fall short when it comes to the follow-up. And um, that has held true many times. So in most cases, as a consultant, what we do is we recommend um, adding um, a budgetary expense of adding a calling service. So how does that work? So, um, you know, it's not enough anymore just to have a great list of data. You have to actually sit down and make the calls to go ahead and start that nurturing process. Um, you know, in that integration of a calling service, you need to be able to go ahead and work them towards getting you closer towards that engagement process where you can take your trusted advisory staff that can help guide clients to their final destination inside your opportunity and get them closer towards that and set up the opportunity to introduce them to experts. Um, this is a very standard process and it can usually be achieved in a very short time. And as you know, when you go to make calls, we offer a lot of training on how to make the call. Today's call has changed. You know, it's not that you're going to be able to connect to somebody on the first ring. It's usually um, 10 to 12 calls just to even possibly get a connect. But during that time, you have the opportunity to go ahead and leave voicemails, 
follow up with emails because all the programs we run at HCS as far as the lead gen, you have full information. So you have name, address, phone numbers, so you have a number of different ways to communicate with them. And we usually recommend that this strategy or touch point is uh, deployed to go ahead and um, create an opportunity where people can know you from afar without getting a large commitment. And then as your campaigns continue to reach them and your calling services pinging them, it brings you to an opportunity of where at some point you could bring in your subject matter experts and bring it to the next level. So uh, what we recommend is you treat calling services like an ally in addition to the team. What this does is it allows you to go ahead and during your campaigning, you can bring them in for a week here, you can bring them in for a week there, and they're offering the manpower because they're familiar with your operation. But um, there's some key things you have to put in place first in order to make calling services worthwhile for you. So let's take a second and um, take a look at the seven valuable reasons of why. So first of all, they're scalable. Uh, calling services, usually you pay by the hour and you buy in blocks of hours. Um, the services that we recommend average at around $50 an hour. Um, and what that does is that they um, connect. Um, you t we, we usually set them up and we train them to your brand awareness because we've already gone through the process of identifying your DNA. And so we've been teaching your internal sales staff how to deliver this message. We're basically teaching one more to person on your team. Uh, what we find is that we uh, don't need four weeks a month. What we need is usually a week or uh, 10 days. And that becomes a very affordable way to go ahead and um, utilize that. Also, uh, you can't call eight hours a day. There's really, a, really about four to six hours of valuable calling time that allows you to modify that. So it's extremely scalable, and you can use it in an approach that you want. You can also create queues of people that you want to call, and a lot of that's done through the integration. The uh, calling services that we work with, uh, we've decided on the Salesforce platform just because we can allow it to create uh, queues where we can load people we want to call in there, and then we start them on that queue, and then we can monitor that. So as I said, calling services can be highly economic. So you know, your minimum uh, employee for a part-time job versus somebody that you can bring in on a calling service, that can be relatively instant on because they're calling professionals. Um, they can go ahead and uh, work extremely quickly and offer you a lot of throughput for uh, really a relatively uh, low cost. You uh, also have the ability to prove their ROI because in most cases they're much more diligent about tracking their calls um, because you uh, put it in place that usually there's some requirement of X amount of calls per hour that you can measure that and you can actually start to see some churn in your out actual uh, lead gen process. You can also make it extremely targeted so you can go through and it can be at the contact level that you actually assign to the calling service to start inside of standard call flow. In training a team how to work with a calling service it's usually tr starting to make sure that they understand what they're good at and what they're not good at. Um, they're very good at making the calls and getting connected. Once they get connected, it's really their responsibility to somehow get you to the page and get you involved so that you can show the value. Um, when the calling service is deployed properly, it's expanding your brand. We teach them how to introduce and navigate who you are and what you are to the marketplace. So it's just a number of different impressions that are occurring on a more rapid basis. And some of the hidden um, opportunities on this is they uh, create new possibilities and also the fact that it's just an increase of frequency of touching people about your brand. So um, this, we find, on a track record has yielded an increase in revenue. Uh, what we see is somewhere between a 15 and 20% increase in um, call appointments and what we see is that there's more opportunity and follow through in the process of bringing uh, appointments back to the people that know the information and better utilizing them for the maximum benefit of the business. So one of the key components that we feel is, is essential in setting up a calling service is a script development. You have to uh, distill the essence of your brand down to something that's uh, deliverable and you have to teach uh, cold calling professionals how to deliver it. 
we've really uh, mastered this. We have a really good understanding of what takes place here. We also believe the call is multidimensional. So it's not only the call you're making directly on that, it's also giving them multiple pathways to go ahead and communicate back, always leaving a voicemail, always leaving your email address, because people will respond. If you give them an opportunity, they may not call you back, but there's multiple forms of communication. So, uh, you know, using uh, professional script development to deliver the message is key, and we really feel like we've, we've mastered that. So uh, good scripts overcome objectives. They find ways to get to the right people, and even if it's not the person or the contact that's in your database that you're calling, helps them determine whether it's the right person to call and then maybe add to your database. Calling professionals track this, and they track this in most cases all in a CRM, and it's a multiple prong attack, so you can actually follow the path of how the development occurred. A general rule of thumb is uh, that, you know, after one touch, uh, eight and ten prospects are not going to be ready, no matter how strong your brand is. But, you know, according to Marketo, 20% of leads that have been nurtured convert to sales-ready leads within 12 months. And so we have to, again, think about this differently. It can't be just make a call, get a sale. What it has to be is there has to be a lot of nurturing involved there, familiarization with the brand, education of the value of your brand by comparison to others, and then also um, the key and golden standard here is to go ahead and um, give the people that you're trying to educate to your brand value something that will help them do their job better. Because in today's world, we all face the same challenge. We've got 30% more work to do with 30% less people to do it. And when we're um, accepting calls or we're taking opportunities, it's about educating us to the way that we can probably keep up better if we had this service. So we believe in that. The other part about this is that you've got to go ahead and get involved in automation. Automation is, you know, the process of actually setting people up on digital email campaigns so that you can start them in a loop when you've gotten to a certain stage in your sales engagement process. That way you're keeping them warm, always trying to allow them opportunities to go ahead and step to the next level. A lot of times this automation is linked with web intelligence, which allows you to know when somebody starts looking back. And that becomes really exciting. So content animation is key here. It's the ability to go ahead and give them access to a lot of different things to go ahead and help them um, educate themselves, not only about your brand, what you're doing, also your point of view. So some first steps here, an essential part of an outreach uh, whether it comes at the top of the funnel is whether it's a sales effort or marketing is content. And, you know, again, I keep getting back to our lecture on this point, which is that this is not marketing, it's content marketing. Content drives the bus. It's the collateral of all marketing today. So you've got to develop things that are that will uh, people will view of value and they can get them involved in trying to learn more about you. Some of this content can look like webinars, white papers, blog posts, newsletters, podcasts, case studies, videos, and social media posts. Um, personally, um, the way we feel, the number one social media uh, for us is YouTube. And that's because it's the least expensive sales call that you'll ever pay for as a leader or an owner of a business. And they get a chance to see you firsthand, determine whether your message seems legitimate, and make an evaluation of you in video before they ever see you. You can also do autoplay um, things on your website. So you're getting the information the way they want to. Unfortunately, people don't read any longer, and so video is really strong. It tells your story, helps them understand who you are and what, what you can do for them. And anything that tells people who they are and why you matter is critical to your success. But the key point here is that telemarketing or e-telemarketing efforts must be tied to original, fresh, and valuable content. It can't be just static, old, uh, stale items. And how it all ties together is kind of, you know, if we were talking in the retail world, this would be the, the perfect integration of omni-channel marketing. And in essence, as we're marketing in a service business, we're trying to do the same thing. So um, this is just a quick example of possibly uh, something that you can put up together and put in um, a, a possibility for how you would 
kind of outline and blueprint of a calling service engagement. So touch one, your prospect is introduced to the landing page where you can complete a form. So this would be some sort of e-campaign marketing or they'd want to download some sort of white paper or something of value that they might be of interest to. Um, an automated response would thank them. So they'd say, thanks for visiting our site and say, for downloading this. So this could be all automated. Um, you could use then a telemarketing um, source to follow up on that uh, download and just inquire if they'd like to know more. From there, after that, you could send them an automated email that might tell them a little bit about you or a case study based upon the calling services input that might identify uh, a persona of that user. From there, you could have another follow-up, which you're, you could send your prospect another action, maybe filling out a form or a webinar and involve them somehow to get them looking at all aspects of your business. Make a personal phone call. This could be an initiation from the calling service back to the assigned account person, saying that it's time for you to get engaged. Um, could also send an automated invite to uh, you know, an event or a blog post or anything of interest. And these things can all be scripted and um, programmed into standard engagement. Then you might call to try to get another appointment. The combination of the telemarketing and the marketing automation makes a winning combination. And these are the loops that we set up. We like to refer to them as marketing nurturing waves. So that's been a little bit about how we see the utilization of calling services in today's world. I wanted to go ahead and um, field any questions that might be coming from the attendees today. Let me just click over here to my questions. Don't see anything coming in. I wanted to also announce that we've uh, completed our second um, update to our HCS book, and that's A Way to Grow 2.0. We're very excited. Uh, SGI has uh, announced that they're going to be releasing our book in 2014 to its members. And so we're very excited to talk about uh, what we believe in, how we use this automation to its best, and if you want any um, information about this, you can feel free to contact us at info at heartconsultingservices.com. So our next webinar next month, in case uh, I've still got a lot of interested parties here on this, is uh, really an exciting topic that we're very excited about right now, which is getting smart about the web. Um, we've been deploying um, web intelligence for just over a year now, and we think it's uh, the third leg of the stool. It allows you to actually see visitation to your website, identify who they are, let them um, move from an anonymous visitor to a known visitor, and I'd invite you guys to participate on this on December 17th at 11, um, 11 o'clock. I thank you very much. I look forward to the possibility of connecting with anybody, and you will see, receive a copy of this follow-up. Um, and also using some of our marketing automation. Thanks again, and thanks for joining us at HCS. My name is Brian Hart.